Hello, I am Dr. Fahim Ashtag. Today we are going to discuss the advanced encryption standard. This is the lecture series of cryptography and network security. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss the uh, review of short history of advanced encryption standard to define the basic structure of AES and the transformation that's used in this algorithm also. Uh, in the next part of this uh, lecture series, we will discuss the key expansion process and uh, different implementations. Uh, firstly, before we move to the uh, detail about the advanced encryption standard, firstly we will discuss the uh, brief history of advan uh, advanced encryption standard. In 1997, NIST started looking for the replacement of data encryption standard, which would call the advanced encryption standard of, or another word we say that the AES. The NIST specification require a block size of 128 bit and three different key size of 128, 192, 256. The specification also required that AES be an open algorithm available to the public worldwide. The announcement was made internationally to uh, solicit response from all over the world. After that, first AES candidate conference, uh, National Institute of Standard and Technology announced that 15 out of 21 uh, uh, received algorithm had met the requirement and been selected as the first candidate uh, round about August 1998. Algorithm was submitted from number of countries. The variety of this proposal demonstrate the openness of the process and worldwide participation. After the second AES candidate conference, which was held uh, and where the NIST announced that 5 out of 15 candidates includes the Mars, RC6, Randiel, uh, Serpent and Taufish were selected as the finalists. After that, third AES candidate conference NIST announced the Randiel, uh, which name as the two scientists, Belgium uh, uh, scientists. Uh, the full name of the researcher is John Diamond and uh, Vincent Regman was selected as the advanced encryption standard uh, on October 2000. In February 2001, NIST announced that the draft of Federal Information Processes Processing Standard, FIPS, was available for public review and comment. <coughs> Finally, the AES was published in, as a FIP. Nin, uh, 1907 in the Federal Register in December 2001. Here are the brief introduction uh, where the criteria set uh, including the security cost and implementation at the end Rendiel was just the best as meet the combination of these all these criteria. What is AES cipher? Uh, as I uh, shared previously, uh, the AES is designed by Regman Diamond, who are the Belgium researchers. Uh, the name of Rendiel is selected from the first uh, uh, half of both, uh, both name words. It contains the three different variants. We, uh, uh, we say that 128-bit variant uh, AES 192-bit variant, AES 256-bit variant, AES. Actual, the main difference in all three are the key size. Uh, this one is the iterative cipher uh, rather than the fiscal cipher. Uh, iterative mean, uh, as we discussed previously, uh, the fiscal cipher which contain uh, the, uh, the input divided into two different half, but in iterative cipher, uh, uh, whatever the input receive, uh, we will uh, uh, what we will do the iterative loop uh, to process the complete uh, the input. The process data as a block of four column of a four byte operate the uh, entire data block in every round. Why it designed designed to help against the non attack speed and com uh, code competence on many CPU design simplicities. 
these are the major purpose of uh, for the development of randian advanced encryption standard aes data unit here you can see that uh, as we know previously the bits can be represented as zero in one form uh, uh, similarly here the smallest unit unit that uh, use in the aes is the bit uh, which contain the binary digit which include 0 1 and the byte as we know previously that byte contain the 8 bits and 8 bits contain a single which contain a single unit if we use the uh, 4 by 4 matrix uh, if we use the 4 by 4 matrix we know that it contain the 16 different number of uh, uh, coordinates and each coordinate which contain the one byte element so here uh, they can explain that the raw matrix 1 into 8 which mean that one coordinate which contain the eight bits of element and similarly the column matrix which contain eight into one and after that we will see that the another uh, data unit which is the word a group of four bytes 32 bits treated as a single entity one row or we can say that one column which contain four different bytes four different bytes mean four different coordinate uh, that uh, uh, meant uh, four different coordinates of any matrix which is called the word if we say that four coordinate become the one word then four raw contain four different words uh, in one matrix we say that we have a one word uh, that contain uh, each contain the one raw of each byte here are the data block or block a group of 128 bits a block can be represented as a raw matrix of 16 byte here you can see that uh, uh, the minimum uh, the first block or first coordinate as we say previously the first coordinate b0 become the uh, uh, contain a one byte value whereas the second uh, coordinate b1 third coordinate fourth coordinate up to 15 coordinate each coordinate contain the one byte value a one byte mean each contain the eight number of bits if if the each uh, block in in one block each coordinate contain the eight bits uh, which mean that here are the 0 to 15 values 16 different coordinates 16 into 8 bit we will find the 128 bits in other word we say that uh, a group of 128 bits that uh, used to represent the uh, data blocks here next are the states state what will be the state state become the uh, all process uh, input or after the input uh, we will find the output the processed value which contain the states at the start or end of each round aes uses the term data blocks before and after each stage data block is referred at the state similarly i said previously that input and after the processing the output we receive which we say that the state uh, here are the example for one state is that uh, for example here is the one uh, we have a one uh, mattress which contain element 0 to 15 in other words 16 uh, different coordinate which uh, used uh, to represent the one uh, mattress here uh, how we organize this uh, 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 array or we say that how we can uh, represent the one block into the matrix form uh, b0 to b3 represent the first column here is the second column uh, b8 to 11 is third column b12 to 15 is the fourth column we use the insertion and extraction flow here is uh, top to bottom then move uh, for the next column where top to bottom third move to third uh, column uh, will also the same and the fourth also the same a uh, top to bottom approach we will use here the complete block uh, i plus 4j uh, 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 the block we can be represented uh, again uh, as the similar form if we convert into again to the original form here is the basic uh, structure of aes algorithm uh, here you can say that aes is defined the thread variant as we discussed previously uh, 
uh, which contain the uh, with a 10 12 and 14 number of rounds if we say that if we have a 128 bit uh, aes algorithm then we will use uh, the 128 bit key size and 10 number of rounds if we use the 192 bit variant uh, uh, aes where we use the 12 number of round whereas if we use the aes 256 bit variant where we use as the 14 number of rounds uh, as you see here uh, all, all these are the different uh, cipher keys uh, used uh, for the encryption and decryption processes uh, this one is the key expansion expansion function that receive as an input of 128 192 or 256 bit key uh, cipher key and convert into uh, the sub keys uh, for uh, that use for the different number of rounds uh, first one is uh, is the k0 of key one uh, first key we use as the k0 that uh, use for the p round transformation and k1 key we use in the round one k2 for the round two up to n round n round mean uh, if we use 128 bit then we say that 10 number of round if we use 192 6 variant we say that 12 round and 256 14 number of round according to the round we use the number of keys for advanced encryption standard here are here are the uh, basic overview uh, of all rounds uh, you can see here uh, the mattress before the sub byte uh, uh, transformation uh, is called the state and after the sub byte uh, transformation uh, we said that the uh, this one is the another state input and after the output we say that the uh, state uh, uh, state of uh, the matters contain the state here is the structure which uh, first one which contain the each byte is transformed by an xbox in uh, uh, each round contain the four different operation first operation is sub byte operation where we check the uh, all uh, one mattress whatever the input is uh, we uh, find out the value from the substitution box and then replace the same value similarly the second shift operation where we uh, pro perform the operation of swap we will detail uh, view in the next slides miss column operation where we have um, uh, mattress multiplication using this constant mattress and uh, find uh, another value and later is the add round key where we apply the ex uh, exclusive or operation uh, for the round key and then find the final value here is the basic structure for each round similarly we done this process whatever the number of rounds in uh, whatever the you have used the 128 bit variant 192 or 256 variant algorithm first one is the uh, byte substitution uh, uh, byte substitution uh, uh, in AES uh, like DES use the substitution however the mechanism is different first the substitution is done for each byte second only one table is used for transformation of every byte uh, which means that two bytes are same and the transformation is also the same um, as compared to we see in that data encryption standard uh, we use the different substitution box uh, uh, and then we replace the value according to the different substitution box here is the third uh, important uh, uh, mechanism in the substitution in advanced encryption standard include the transformation is defined by either a table lookup process or mathematical calculation in the gloss field gf2 power 8 field aes uses two invertible matrices transformation now uh, we move to the here is the brief about the substitution now we move to the uh, byte substitution algorithm in byte substitution uh, in aes we uses the 128 bit input we, in another word we say that the 16 byte and if we discuss earlier uh, each matrix contain the 16 number uh, of coordinate 16 different coordinate each coordinate contain one byte entry another word we say that one byte is equal to 8 bit so that's why we say that 128 bit input is used for the uh, sub byte uh, substitution process uh, 
to substitute the byte we interpret the byte as a two uh, hexadecimal digit the left digit define the raw and the right digit define the column here in the uh, this uh, example we, uh, you will find that uh, the, the left uh, digit define uh, in the raw and the right digit define in the column uh, and define the column in the substitution table two hexadecimal digit at the junction of two and column are new byte uh, in this figure you have seen that we just have to taken one value uh, of uh, uh, state that uh, state matrix uh, after the uh, pre round transformation but uh, uh, the matrix we receive uh, each coordinate we replace with the value for example 19 for example the value is 19 then we uh, check that the one first row and ninth column and the value that contain whatever the value that contain we replace the same value to the new matrix here is the uh, substitution box table that used uh, by the advanced encryption standard uh, another example for the sub byte transformation that we just i discussed we taking the example here the value contain 19 we will check that first row and ninth column ninth column which contain the value d4 we replace simply the value d4 here second uh, coordinate we check that 3d mean third row and dh column here is the value is 27 we just replace the value 27 with the 3d similarly we do the complete matrix this is what the uh, uh, sub, uh, sub by transformation here is the uh, transformation we, uh, in which we use the uh, gloss field. Uh, gloss field matrix uh, used for uh, all num uh, number of rounds uh, in, uh, all num uh, uh, in all the rounds uh, as well as in each round like sub uh, we uh, use in the sub byte, we use in the mix column, uh, 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 raw operation and similarly to the add round key operation so here you can see that with this example you will find that the uh, transformation using gloss field to power 8 uh, which is used to find a substitution for each byte AES also defined the transformation algebraically uh, uh, algebraically using the gloss field uh, GF to power 8 filled with the uh, uh, eridicable polynomial which contain value 1 plus x plus x3 plus x4 plus x8 uh, as you shown in the figure uh, all these values uh, we calculate because 2 power 8 mean uh, we have a value 0 to up to x8 uh, if we have for example uh, first one c1 value we see that here which matrix is on in b0 case which uh, which uh, of the byte a bit is uh, bit is on first one one second is x third, next is x2 uh, for example x3 then all are off then x8 this one become the uh, uh, c0 uh, uh, value where which we multiply with the with the matrix uh, which contain b0 up to bn value here we use the way we use the gloss feed value in sub byte routine the multiplication inverse of the byte uh, as an 8 bit binary string is found in gf to power 8 with the irreducible polynomial uh, as the modulus Note that if the byte is 0, 0, 16, the inverse is itself. The invertible byte is then interpreted as a column matrix with the least significant bit at the top and most significant um, bit in the bottom. The column matrix is multiplied by the constant square matrix X and the result which is column matrix is added with the constant uh, column uh, matrix Y is to give the new byte. Note the multiplication and addition of bits are done in the gloss field okay multiplication addition or uh, any other operation we use in the aes uh, done using the uh, gloss field sub byte and uh, inversible sub byte transformation are inverse of each other 
this is the major phenomena uh, of this algorithm. Here is the example uh, used for the sub-byte and uh, inverse sub-byte operation. Next we will move to the shift row operation. Uh, in shift row operation you have, uh, we, uh, we will see that firstly we see that the state having first operation is the sub-byte then return value will become the one matrix. This matrix become the input when we move to the shift row operation. In uh, shift row uh, stages, uh, raw stages or the goal. Goal is the transformation is the round is shifting uh, where we use the permutation. Uh, permutation use, uh, we permute actually the bytes, bytes the uh, coordinate value. Unlike the DES in which permutation is done at the bit level, shifting transformation in AES is done at the byte level. The order of the bit in the byte is not changed. So, uh, Next is the shift raw stages. Uh, in the encryption process, the transformation is called shift raw and the shifting is to be the left. The number of shift depend upon the number of uh, raw number. Uh, if we look at the number, uh, for example, here the mention is number raw zero, we will do the shift zero. If the raw one, we will do the shift one time and if the raw 2 we will do the shift 2 times similarly if the raw 3 we will do the shift 3 times here are the example uh, first one we will not do any change in the second one what we have to do is uh, uh, just like the uh, queue uh, we will move one bit shift from right side this bit move to the end and all other bits become move to the end side so first value when we shift to the end then rest value move to the next this one is the one byte shift operation similarly in the uh, next case uh, next case also the same in uh, this one is the third row where we move these two value shift and once the two value shift we move to the end of uh, this row and these two value move to the next similarly in the fourth row we also do the same we do the three byte shift in the third row transformation. Here is the another example what we will do in the uh, second uh, row. We move to the first uh, coordinate to the end and all other coordinate one one move to the next. Similarly in the third row and fourth row operation as we discussed in previous slide. Here is the example uh, using the example how we shift uh, we, up, uh, we will uh, transformation apply the shift transformation F here you can see that first row no change second row f2 is uh, moved to the end similarly these two value move to the end and the fourth uh, row we will shift the three value three value move to this way here is the input value you can check that here is the output value this is what we done in the shift uh, operation next is the uh, mixing uh, how we done the mix column stage or mix column operation? The substitution provided the sub byte transformation is change the value of byte based only on the original value and entry in the table. The process does not include the uh, neighboring byte. We can say the sub byte is an intra byte transformation. The permutation provided by the shift rod transformation exchange the byte without permitting the bit inside the byte we can see the shift raw byte exchange transformation so then after that we move to the mixed column transformation which operate at the column level it transform each column of a state to a new column the transformation is actually is matrix multiplication of state column by a constant square matrix the byte is a state uh, column and constant matrix is interpreted as the 8 bit uh, word with the coefficient of gloss field 2. A multiplication byte is done in gloss field 2 power 8 with modulus uh, as we see previously the gloss field 1 plus x plus x3 x4 and x8. 
addition is the same exclusive ordering the 8 bit value uh, this is uh, the process of the mixed column stages and uh, uh, here is the goal uh, of the permute the bit with each of the four byte word column state and mattress multiplication where uh, with the four by four byte constant value multiplication done using the gloss field uh, one x x3 x4 x4 and uh, in other word we simply that we take the column of the state previous state previous state mean the uh, uh, raw matter separation we will get the value we will take that value in the previous state similarly the column uh, first column uh, is mixed with the uh, constant uh, matters value multiplication is applied and uh, multiplication done and the uh, first column of constant matters with the first column of uh, the last state and then after the multiplication the value we will get which become the uh, which will uh, made the new state of the new matters Similarly, here you can again see that uh, this one is D4BF5D30 is the first column of uh, the previous state and we just uh, multiply with the first uh, column and then we will uh, first column of this uh, constant matrix then return into, uh, return into another matrix. Here the four number of raw is multiplied with the uh, D4 and uh, similarly this constant matters is multiplied by the each column and we'll uh, get back the another new raw, uh, raw for the new matters. Here are the uh, missed column different stages again explained the matters multiplication make each bit depend on every other byte in a word. Here you can see that here is the uh, four word make the one uh, new matrix column and multiply uh, this column with the constant matrix and the re return with the new matrix okay here is the way you have seen that how they multiply the matrix uh, x value y value z value and finally t value constant matrix contain the four value multiply uh, each value with the value available in the constant matters then return into the new matters here is again the uh, miss column transformation example each column is proceed separately <coughs> each byte is replaced by the value dependent on the four all four byte in the column effectively a matrix multiplication in gloss field to power 8 using the prime polynomial here is the example for the missed column rotation and uh, this one is the uh, missed uh, state uh, of the missed column operation. Uh, we will get the value after the missed col uh, column rotation is the new state and if we done the in inverse matter operation then return to the state. Keep in mind when we apply the encryption process or decryption, uh, decryption process. In encryption process we must have an uh, invertible matrix once we perform any operation we should uh, uh, check that is it after the inverse taking the inverse we will get the value same or not reason why we need because uh, decryption is the exactly the inverse of the encryption when we are developing the encryption algorithm if we uh, every step if we check the inverse matrix then definitely on the end uh, of uh, uh, decryption algorithm we will do the decryption uh, similarly the decryption uh, will be the inversely we will get the value similar that we have convert into this uh, cipher text using the encryption and using same the process apply inverse and uh, similar key if they receive and uh, then they convert into the, the original matrix. Last stage is the add round key. Add round key uh, which uses the uh, uh, 128 bit uh, bits key if we using the 128 bit uh, key algorithm uh, variant algorithm add round key proceed one column at a time it's similar to the mix column in this respect miss column multiple uh, multiplies a constant scare matters by each state column as we see previously add round key add a round keyword with each state column matters the operation in matrix column in is a matrix multiplication the operation in add round key is a mixed addition 
since addition and subtraction in this field are the same add round key transformation is the inverse of itself as you uh, uh, check uh, the example from the figure the what will be the algorithm for the add round key actually the add round key algorithm transformation can be based on the exclusive ordering operation of each column of a state with corresponding keyword we will discuss how the cipher key is expanded into a set of keyword but for a moment we can define the transformation as shown uh, here uh, in this figure here is the another ex uh, example for the add round key where you can see that the first column is just exclusive or perform the exclusive or operation with the round key and uh, with that round key it become it generate a, a new column and new column of the new matters this one is comp uh, last stage for the first round where we done at the end is the uh, round key where we get uh, this round key here this round key we taken from the key scheduling algorithm in our next uh, lecture we will see that how the key expansion function work how the key expansion function generate the different key using the 128 bit 192 bit and 1 uh, 256 bit key variant and uh, all these key used for each stage uh, like firstly we use uh, this key in the add round key transformation secondly we use this key uh, in the uh, round 1 and then round 2 round 3 round 4 uh, this is what about the today lecture uh, what happening in the uh, encryption process in the advanced encryption standard in our next video you can find that the key expansion function uh keep uh, watching this channel and subscribe this channel uh, thank you for today lecture thank you